There's time travel now, so we can't trust our memories. You never know when someone will go back, buy your mom a drink, suddenly you've got a whole new yesterday. It's worse when you're in love. You can't help but go back to their childhoods, their hometowns. You wind up changing their stories irrevocably. That's why they say time travelers shouldn't date. <laughs> ah, but I saw her in liberated Paris, weeping and half-blitzed on cheap wartime cognac. I thought, fuck the rules. <laughs> At least, that's my story. She insists that we met as sharecroppers on an organic beetroot farm. She <laughs> fell in love with my industry, my honesty, my hard-working hands. And I asked her once, as we were laying the bedrock of Stonehenge, on what basis she thought the me that she met and the me that she made love to were the same man at all. She said, we had the same laugh, and we both smoked pipes. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, without Without, mem without a past, we're not people anymore, just patterns reflected on the kaleidoscope of history, and we weave and re-weave our lives so often that only the basic shapes of human nature remain. And that was our tragedy, that even in a world where we thought we could remake any mistake, we kept having that same last fight, like it was a Sarajevo bullet, like it was destiny. Lately, I've been going back to watch it. I play it back slow so I get to see heartbreak and resolve move over my face like the crash of a long, slow wave. I can make it beautiful. I can laugh and smoke my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was there, I saw her watching too, except she was left-handed and her freckle was above her heart, so I know she was watching it in reverse. She saw violence as healing and heard the silence screaming our secrets back into our mouths to be carried safely back to their sweet first telling. For her, the night got brighter until sunset. When the last discords of our fear were silenced by a swallowed gasp, and we were happy again. They were condensed in her, drawn out by me as the sweat poured off her mouth to my hairline. But I hope she's okay. I know her reverse tends to stick. I'd hate for her to be stuck that way. It would be fun to see us pick up the pieces and watch us regain our first blush honesty, see dubstep and comic book movies be replaced by music and cinema in an ever-cooling world, or see Barack Obama take apart an army of drones until he was given the Nobel Prize for peace. She'd love that. But every year people would get sicker and poorer and dumber. Corpses would rise from the grave and be racist. Babies would be broken apart by placental acids. It's no place for a lady. But that's her story. At least I think so. Because there's time travel now. We can't trust our memories. We just sever our histories and drift. Yeah.